Hey guys, welcome back to MMA Surge. On today's episode, we're gonna go over the Anaconda Choke, made famous by Randy Couture when he defeated Mike Van Arsdale. All right, so let me show you exactly how to do this move. We'll bring on Simon in to demonstrate with. So the spot that uh, Randy Couture defeated Mike Van Arsdale was on a failed takedown. So on a failed takedown is when a guy is trying to like maybe get a double leg on you and you're in this sprawled out position here. So when I'm in the sprawled out position, the way you do your anaconda choke is you want to attack a head and an arm. Most chokes in mixed martial arts, you need a head and an arm, whether it be a regular triangle, an arm triangle, a Doris, or the anaconda. They all incorporate locking the head to the arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my free hand. I'm looking to attach these two together. I take my right hand, I go under and through. So I'm going to try to get as far possible as I can. If his head's popping up to the outside, Push it down to the middle and keep it there. Bring my arm through and I come here. What I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna look to put my ear on the center of his back. So my arm goes through, I'm here. So I like to like to reach my left arm as far as possible. I grab my bicep and I cinch it up. I'm gonna put, look to put my hand on his back. So once I'm here, the choke is pretty much locked up. This guy's gotta realize that he's about to lose a fight and he's gonna probably get choked to sleep if he doesn't tap. So, I'm gonna come here, what I do is I, I go up on my toes and I walk onto my side. I look to drop the guy onto the hip, the same side as the head. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my feet towards his head in a short motion, look up, and squeeze and tap, okay? Let's do that the other way so you guys can see. Come over here. So, he's on a failed takedown, he's here. Oh my God, I'm gonna get taken down. Push his head to the middle, arm goes through, lock us up. So I'm gonna look to drop to my side and drop him to his side. So when I walk to my side, I don't wanna walk really far away. I wanna walk very tight to him. What this does is this, this changes the angle on the choke and it puts my forearm bone right into his trachea. So I go here and I arch and I get myself a submission. So that right there is your anaconda choke. All right, so when you guys do this anaconda choke, you wanna make sure you secure yourself a head and an arm together. So you're gonna take your free arm and it goes across the side of his neck to the outside of his armpit. Once outside of his armpit, you take your free hand, you grab your bicep, and you bring it up onto his lat. Once you're here, drop him to his side, walk your legs in, arch, and you win. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. I'm The Squid, and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.